Hello again, Vinyl Community, Matt here, and today I went to a new record store, at least it's a new record store to me. It's uh, in Upland, California, and it's called Bob's Record Shack, and like I said, I'd never been there before, so uh, let's go check it out. Now, when I got to the store, I almost missed it because um, it's pretty small and it's also right next to this little uh, antique slash vintage store. So I thought they were one of the same uh, for a moment. But no, they're two separate stores. So you go into uh, Bob's Record Shack and I met Bob and a uh, super nice guy. Uh, he preferred not to be on camera, so I, I certainly respect that. Um, but you'll see that um, he's, he's kind of got a bit of everything. Plenty of vinyl, of course, and, and you know, it is called Bob's Record Shack, so that makes sense. But uh, even uh, CDs, cassettes, even 8-tracks. So I was almost kind of uh, kind of disappointed that I, uh, I'm no longer in the 8-track game, as it were. <laughs> anyway, he also sells a lot of uh, uh, stereo equipment. Vintage, hi-fi, that sort of thing. Turntables, amps, receivers... And uh, so it was really cool to take a look at all of that as well. And like I said, Bob was a really nice guy. I uh, got to meet him and, and chat for a few minutes. And it was sort of a funny thing because he said he actually had heard my name before, which was surprising. Um, I, I guess uh, somebody had posted on Facebook um, uh, one of my earlier videos, and that's how he had seen uh, or seen or heard of me. So that was sort of a, a funny thing. <laughs> Um, you know, it's a small world, I guess, and, and the vinyl community is only, only so big. But yeah, so that was really nice to chat to Bob and uh, just, uh, you know, talk about records and so on. He was asking about uh, my setup and I, I told him how I, I used to have the vintage, but it, it, I just had one too many problems, which is why I went for a more modern setup. But yeah, I got... Um, Got a card right here, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I'll, I'll read it out to you. So, uh, Bob's Record Shack, classic rock, classic rock, vinyl, CDs, cassettes, t-shirts, memorabilia. Um, and on the back right here, it says, we also carry DVDs, 8-track tapes, books, vintage stereo equipment. So, yeah, very cool. Very cool indeed. In fact, I actually got two of these. But <laughs> Now, did I buy anything? Yes, I did. I, I almost didn't. That was partly because I had my daughter with me and it was just a little bit difficult trying to corral her and, and be able to properly browse um, the selections, you know, at the same time. But I did pick up something I've been wanting for a while. And, you know, if I go to a record store, particularly if it's one that I haven't been to before, I like to buy something. I think, um, I don't know, I kind of think it's the thing to do in a way. But, but uh, Bob actually had a record that I've been on the lookout for a while and I just hadn't pulled the trigger on it yet. And that's um, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. I do have it on CD already, but I've been wanting it on vinyl. Now, the price sticker on here was $28. That, that would have been a little bit rich for my blood. Um, 
but I offered him 25, which he accepted. It's uh, brand new sealed. Of course, it's a, it's a recent reissue. And I know, I know, I probably could have got it a little bit cheaper on Amazon or somewhere, of course. But but that's the same for any record store, right? So you know, 25 is not not outrageous. It's not unreasonable. So I was quite happy to pay that. Now here's the back of it. You can see it's still still sealed. Hasn't been opened. Um, classic album, of course. Welcome to the Jungle, Mr. Brownstone, Paradise City, uh, My Michelle, Sweet Child of Mine, You're Crazy. So you know, and several other tracks too. So very pleased to finally pick this up. So uh, thank you, Bob. And you know, that's something else that I like about smaller independent record stores. And I mentioned this before, is that you can actually haggle and negotiate with the store owner. I think that's an important part of it. It's part of the game, you know. Store store owners know that um, a lot of people, especially people who've been collecting music for a while, a lot of people are going to try to negotiate with them. Of course, it's 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 just part of it. Same thing if you were to go to maybe um, uh, maybe an antique store, that sort of thing. And it's the same, you're dealing with, especially when you're dealing with a lot of used items. Now, this, this of course, is brand new, but hey, it's it's just part of the game. you got to try to get the price down a little bit. Of course you do. <laughs> so, yeah, I offered him the $25, which he accepted. So that was very, uh, very nice of him. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I enjoyed visiting the store, and uh, I definitely hope to be back there soon. Um, and Bob... Uh, uh, was looking up my looking up the YouTube channel when I was there. Actually, he was asking about it, and uh, he was um, looking up the Instagram as well. So that's something I've been getting into, and I've mentioned it in, the, in my last one or two videos. If you would like to check out my um, Instagram, it's exactly the same channel name as my YouTube channel. It's Matt Hayes Vinyl, all one word, no spaces. And you know, it's just it's something I've been getting getting into in the last few weeks. Just uh, I mean, I'm enjoying finding things to um, post pictures about. <laughs> so taking photos of records and stereo stuff, that type of thing. And in fact, if you uh, take a look at the Instagram, you'll see that there's um, a big picture. It's actually a, a three by two that I posted of uh, shelves at, um, at Bob's Record Shack with all the vintage stereo stuff on. I thought it was kind of a cool picture. So... So that's up there right now too. But So thank you guys as always uh, for commenting and for subscribing. Um, please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And uh, hit the bell, the bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So that's it for now. Thank you guys as always for watching. And until next time, bye bye.